Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020, and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. We have a lot of very important information to go over because President Trump yesterday announced that he may take executive actions to halt evictions and suspend payroll tax collection as the virus relief talks in Congress are seeing very slow progress. So in today's video, we're first going to go over what President Donald Trump said yesterday in the White House briefing on the virus. He spoke about the country reopening, states reopening, schools, and more. Then we're going to get into Dr. Fauci and how he explained on Monday there are two big reasons why schools should reopen in the fall. Next up, we're going to go into the second stimulus package and talk about how negotiators are set to meet on Tuesday to make some major moves with the second stimulus package. And finally, we're going to go over how late in the evening yesterday, President Trump announced that he may take executive order and unilateral action to help prevent evictions and help people who are unemployed. But before we get started, I want to remind you guys that this is your last chance to enter today's $50 free stock giveaway. I'll be announcing the winner in my video later today. All you need to do to be eligible is like the video down below, be subscribed to my channel, and comment down below your favorite stock. I'm going to pick a random person to give $50 in that stock. Two, I give it using an app called Stockpile. Also, don't forget, you can still get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull Investing app, and you can get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns Investment app using the link down below. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So, President Donald Trump insisted Monday during the White House briefing on the virus that shutting down the United States in an attempt to curb the virus would cause more harm than good. He doubled down on his previous comments that he would not call for a second shutdown of the economy and how the shutting down the economy, again, is simply not an option. He explained how it's important for all Americans to recognize that a permanent lockdown is not a viable path forward and would ultimately inflict more harm than it would prevent. He said that in our current phase, what we must do is we must focus on protecting those at highest risk while allowing younger and healthier Americans to resume work and go back to school with careful precautions and safety measures in place. He said, ideally, we want all those schools to reopen because that is how we will see our economy recover and we'll have more jobs created. If students can't go back to school, then their parents can as easily return to work because they need to take care of their children. So that's one of the major reasons why he says we need to continue reopening the economy and seeing schools reopen. He said this in the White House briefing yesterday on the virus. Later on, Dr. Fauci explained on Monday how there are two big reasons why schools should reopen for in person learning. He explains how students need the psychological and nutritional benefits of being in school in person and parents have to dramatically modify their work schedule if kids are not in school. So he says those are the two reasons because parents need to be able to go to work and students they need to have the psychological and nutritional benefits of being in school. However, even though Dr. Fauci is saying schools should reopen, he goes on to explain how states need to take a serious re examination of where they are in the process of reopening their economies. He explained how states may need to pause or take a step back a little bit. He said, I don't think they necessarily have to revert all the way to closing down their economies completely like they did before, but he says we need to prevent the virus from spreading and one thing they can do is just look at where they are in the phases of reopening, maybe pause it or take a step back. That being said, he still thinks schools need to reopen to help the economy recover. Next up with the second stimulus package. Negotiators on Tuesday today are set to reconvene on Capitol Hill to continue hammering out differences over the next relief bill with top Trump administration officials scheduled to return for another meeting with congressional Democrats. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows will meet with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. They are going to have a closed door policy lunch later today where they are going to be discussing the second stimulus package and continuing to negotiate on the specific details of it. Yesterday went through all of the items line by line and they're continuing to debate on certain aspects such as unemployment benefits and other things that are currently holding them up. Up. The Senate is scheduled to take a month-long recess at the end of this week, their August 
recess. But according to lawmakers, they won't leave until they have a deal reached for the second stimulus package. We've heard this a couple of times before, but Senator Lisa Murkowski, who is a Republican from Alaska, when asked about the prospect of a second stimulus package deal reached before the end of the week, she said, if I were a gambler, I'd say we'd have to have some long days, long nights, and work extremely hard to have a package pass before the end of this week. So according to her, it may take a little longer for the bill to pass, but they are not going to be leaving for the in August recess. They're not going to be leaving Washington until a bill is agreed upon. So that is good news. Hopefully they can come to an agreement quickly, but if not, at least we know they will reach something before they leave for recess. And finally, President Trump said on Monday that he's considering taking executive action to halt evictions and suspend payroll tax collection as virus relief talks are seeing slow progress on Capitol Hill. Right now, tens of millions of Americans have lost crucial unemployment benefits and they're starting to face evictions as the federal moratorium on evictions ran out. Economists warn that permanent damage may be wrought on the economy without action and quick action from Congress, yet Congress has still been very slow to pass another bill and they're just dragging out the process of uh, negotiating and agreeing on the aspects of this next relief bill. As a result, at the White House on Monday, President Trump said a lot of people are going to be evicted, but I'm going to stop it because I'll do it myself with executive actions if I have to. He explained how he has a lot of powers with respect to executive orders, and we're looking at that seriously right now. He also said they're examining executive actions on a payroll tax cut, something he has repeatedly demanded to be part of the second stimulus package, but has been turned down by people on both sides of the aisle. Trump explained how he could pass these executive orders by declaring a national economic emergency and by doing this he will then be able to direct the IRS to suspend the collection of payroll taxes. So what that means is that if President Trump were to do this you would see an immediate boost to your paycheck. Ultimately right now though the White House is scrambling to confront the two major problems facing millions of Americans right now, which are the enhanced unemployment benefits for close to 30 million people, which lapsed last week, and that a moratorium of evictions also expired. Those are the two major issues, and those are the issues that President Trump wants addressed, and they are the things holding back Congress right now because those are part of the major aspects of debate right now between Democrats and Republicans. So anyways, I'll keep you updated on what happens here, but that is your Tuesday, August 4th, second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, you can get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investment app and get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.